Hey there, greetings everybody. Well, you know, I actually yesterday, I ran out of time, but I started a video on uh, on Solo and uh, and the, the drop, the, the box office, the massive box office failure uh, that, that Solo was and kind of the excuses that we're getting for it. And I ran out of time. It's one of those days that, oh goodness, we're just everything was going on, and so you know it just didn't happen. Um, but <clears throat> last night I get home really late and hadn't been looking at the news much, and I pull up YouTube and see the the interwebs all abuzz with the rumor that Kathleen Kennedy is on her way out uh, as the head of of Lucasfilm. And, you know, and obviously this is a rumor right now. We, 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 we certainly don't know all the behind the scenes of, of what's going to happen and when and, and if. It seems like a pretty credible rumor at this point and it seems to make a lot of sense. Uh, honestly, you know, if you're Disney and you're looking at this, you got to figure out if you want to wage a battle... Um, in which, you know, so a, a group of people are, you know, changing Star Wars to fit their own, their own, you know, political biases and to try to try to try to make points for their side and lose a ton of money in the process or, you know, or give the fans what they want. And that choice is not is not just a matter of oh well you know okay well solo lost a little bit of money no this this choice this choice has become very stark for them because their toys aren't selling they're opening their their star wars theme park like next year and they've got to be looking at the numbers from last jedi and solo and all the tie-ins and all this and wondering is anybody going to come to this thing and yeah i mentioned last jedi because last jedi made money but last jedi made money because of weekend number one when we were all excited about it now i was excited about it. i was you know i was like i i really did like i liked force awakens a lot i liked rogue one a lot and yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, we were seeing the hints of what was to come even then. Sure. But it didn't change the fact that they were fun movies and and they and they they had some some really nice tie-in to uh, to what came before. They felt like Star Wars movies. But then that first weekend we all went to go see The Last Jedi and we we were like, "Well, great. You know, the critics love it." This looks like it's going to be great. We really like the previous two films. This is going well so far. And uh, and so then we got there and it didn't feel at all like Star Wars. And it was just way over the top with being obvious. And that is why it had a just massive drop off in Weekend 2. And so, yeah, it made money because it made two hundred plus million dollars in weekend number one when we don't we didn't know better. But after that, after that first weekend, that drop off in the first weekend, it it really started going south in a hurry. But now here's solo, and we're all a little wary. We're we're all like I, you know, that last Jedi really just wasn't good. It wasn't good. And, and so I'm going to hang back on this one and I'm not even going to necessarily trust the critics and the tr critics who were trustworthy, who were not trustworthy about Star Wars and proved that in, in, uh, The Last Jedi still panned it. Um, and, and, and it just seems like more and more people are realizing that things are not well in, at Lucasfilm that they they have they have put their agenda above making good film and this is just this is just proven with the excuses and you know everything's being blamed on a very small group of white supremacists well 
first of all, it's obviously not a small group because Solo bombed. You know, a movie bombs because a ton of people don't watch it. That's how a movie bombs. It's not because there's a dozen people in the corner of YouTube saying, I don't like where, you know, where Kathleen Kennedy is taking Star Wars and don't go see the movie. No one cares about those people. And, and it's really hard to, to, it's really hard to say that with a straight face in the year of Black Panther, which we all went to see and we all loved. We all loved it. And it just reminds, it just reminds me of, of uh, when Wrinkle in Time came out and, and it bombed and, and that was blamed on racism and the number one movie of, the number one movie in the theater that same weekend was Black Panther. And so, you know, we're all, we're all just really tired of, of the, of this sort of rhetoric, you know, it's, you know, just when, when you make a bad movie and people don't like your bad movie, it's not because they're racist. It could be because you made a bad movie. And the, this, this sort this, this, this sort of excuse making that we as society has, have, have decided is a good idea, you know, that just blame all your troubles on, on, you know, on alt-right or racist or white supremacist or whatever we're calling, you know, calling this, this, this group now. Um... And it just doesn't hold true. You know, if, if we're, you know, if, if, if we're going down that road, you know, if, if, if racism is the reason to, that, that people did not see Solo, then, well, we're, we're showing that to be actually just a, a vast majority of the country did not see this movie. The vast majority of the world did not see this movie. And so we're kind of in that awkward position where we're having to call people overseas white supremacists for not liking this movie when they aren't even white. It's, this is the sort of logic, this is the sort of logic that's going on. And, and so we're continuing to get more like that. So the next excuse, Star Wars fatigue. Well, goodness, it's been just a few months since the last one. And again, let's point to Marvel. Marvel did 15 movies in 10 years, and the latest one has been the biggest one of them all. Uh, Black Panther, Black Panther and Age of Ultron like two months apart. We don't have Marvel fatigue. We don't. The, the numbers prove it. We don't have Marvel fatigue. Um, you know why? Because they keep putting out quality stuff. Look, we have we have quibbles with here and there. There's some of them that I didn't think were great. I've I've mentioned these movies. I've enjoyed all of them. Don't get me wrong. I've actually enjoyed every single Marvel film. Uh, but there's some of them uh, that I just I thought were okay. That was fine. I, I don't need to see it again though. But consistently, these are movies being made for the fans that you know, are, are taking the source material, you know, taking care of it, you know, presenting it lovingly. Um, and, and we're responding with our time and money. Uh, and, and so the, the, these excuses, they're, they're really falling flat. I, I love the, I love the, well, Deadpool 2 opened. As if like in the past, Star Wars was ever afraid of a movie like Deadpool 2. Ever. Ever. But Star Wars is one of those franchises that just isn't afraid of anything. Because it's Star Wars. It's the it's one of the big dogs. And so, yeah, it's like, oh well, goodness, this rated R uh superhero movies coming out. What are we gonna do? Um it's just showing, showing the, the ridiculousness of this. I mean, the the, the fact remains is that uh, the Americans and and really the world does not like the direction that Kathleen Kennedy has taken Star Wars, and she has taken 
one of the biggest properties um, in film history and run it into the ground and um, and made it flop and that 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 sort of level of of failure is and should be you know met with you know removing you from your position and that seems to be what's happening and that's the that's the that's the decision that Disney's you know has to make they have so much invested into this property to let someone run into the ground for for a political agenda just doesn't make any sense and so you know I'm I for one I'm hoping that these rumors are true I'm, I'm very curious as to where things are going next um, and I'm I'm I, I'm you know if, if this rumor is true and if we get a replacement that that is that it, that is going to be making movies for the fans that that is making movies that are fun that are enjoyable and, and I'm not even saying don't have any politics in it goodness I I wouldn't say that you know uh, Star Wars has had plenty of politics in it but when you just you know sacrifice the plot to make just way over the top obvious political points that the, the movie is now suffering because of your politics. Uh, the last thing I wanted to mention is surely, obviously, this is not this is not the first time um, Star Wars has gone through some controversy. You know, the 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 prequels uh, uh, in a lot of cases were not overly well received by the fans. But here's the difference: the prequels were actually successes, and Solo was not. You know, the, the prequels got an audience, held the audience, and kept the audience over three movies. And that's not what is happening today. And so that, that's, the, that's the real difference is, look, you know, I have, I have my complaints about the prequels. Don't get me wrong. I actually think the only, you know, before, before, before episode eight, the only Star Wars film that I would actually deem as as probably a bad film was Episode Two, and even then, half of it, the, the Obi Wan part of Episode Two was magnificent. Uh, it was just everything else was bad, you know. <laughs> so it it it, it hurt. But uh, the prequels had problems, uh, that's for sure. But it found an audience. It kept an audience. It it succeeded. It brought a lot of people into the Star Wars universe. A lot of people watched these movies and a lot of people enjoyed them. And we had fun at them, uh, no matter what else. And so that's the difference. So, yeah, the, the, the very fact, the, the, just the mere fact that, you know, there's a controversy is, is, not, uh, <clears throat> is not necessarily the problem. It, the, the problem is, is the alienation of fans to, to the point that your movies are failing, you've taken the one of the biggest properties in Hollywood and just destroyed it. Um, you know the uh, the there's really just childish backlash against the fans online. That you know it's like you know oh you're just saying this because you know because of racism and um, and oh you know you're just you know you you just want your own little pet theories to be true and that's it and. Uh, and, and that sort of thing. It's, it's, it's just excuse making. It's just childish. And um, and you know, I I for one am will will be very happy to see this era of of Star Wars die. And hopefully, hopefully, there's enough Star Wars left to keep the the property alive after after this just devastation that has become <laughs> come upon it. Uh, but thank you, thank you for watching. I really appreciate it. We're really going to watch closely what happens next, and uh, ho hopefully, hopefully, we get a string of good news coming our way. So thanks again.